right, everybody, it is Saturday. I've had a great, great, I mean, a great week. Hope everybody else has had a great week. I am on my way from the landfill, throwing away all my trash that I've built up throughout the months of scrapping. <clears throat> I said, this place is right on my way home. I'm gonna stop at my little burn, uh, burn burr honey hole and uh, see what we have over here. I think, I think it's been two weeks since I've been here. So my trail is empty. Let's go see what we got over here and, and maybe we can uh, make a little bit of extra money. Scrapping with Grandpa, what's next? Oh my word. Yeah, he told me when they're here, come and get them. Well, they are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got 16 barrels. I'm not so sure. 16 barrels will fit in my trailer. Today, we're going to find out. Today, we're going to find out. Amazing. Amazing? Oh yeah. Man, I can't even believe it guys. I should be able to go three deep, five deep. Shoot. I can get quite a few of them on here. Oh yeah. Let's keep right on trucking. Has anybody has anybody seen my can opener that opens the uh, cuts the top off of these? Yeah, I want to make sure they're empty. we got over here goodness oh that's heavy it's definitely got some product product ah, it's an empty barrel that sir what we got what we got got the lid is this one empty no, it's not empty. It is not empty. And that one's definitely not empty. It's empty. Let's grab it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. some barrels that's all I'm gonna take today guys 
Scrap more grandpa, what's next? Trailer full, trailer full of 55s. Yes, sir. I mean, we get one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. on them if we tighten them up some so they don't back up on me yeah there go there go and you meet in the middle there you go all right grandpa got it going oh all right i'll Strap something right there, keep them from going backwards. We should be pretty good. This old trailer hold uh hold quite a bit. Oh, I need some air in that tire. <sighs> Time to plug it. Alright guys, let me strap this on and we'll see you guys in a few. Scramble grandpa, what's next? While I was at my honey hole, I got a phone call from a friend of mine that said you want to come get some scrap metal at my place? I said, you know what? You're going to be right down the street from where I'm getting ready to pick up some burn barrels from my honey hole. So, yeah. So let's go to his place next. See what he's got. See what he's got to throw away my way. Scrap my grandpa. What's next? Seen this out here yesterday. That's a dryer, baby. Street scrap. Street scrap. No surprise that it's still here. I know there's scrappers around. Surprised to see it still here with all the goodness on it, too. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to drive by it a second time. Yeah. Oh. Just tall enough to reach the back of my trailer. I can get under it because I don't have my other dolly with me. All right, that's one. Let's go get some more. I heard there was some more down the road, so that's basically the reason why I'm out here. It's Sunday. Somebody said, "Come get this." A couple of people said it, so I'm coming to get it. I know it's the Lord's Day, but I went to church last night. My wife and I go to church on Saturday nights. It's actually the same service meeting, but we do it on Saturday night, so it kind of frees up our Sunday. I was at the Brunswick store yesterday. A gentleman said, hey, you pick up scrap metal. I got a couple things at the house you can have. I said, okay, he gave me the address, here I am. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got here. Hey, howdy, ma'am, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? It's a beautiful day, beautiful day. It is nice. Oh, look, he has a dolly and everything. Yeah. Goodness gracious. That's amazing. Yeah. He must have got some new ones for Christmas. Um, yeah, he was doing a job. Oh, and nice. They were getting rid of some, so. Yeah, well, that's good for me. Yeah, upgrade for, for us too, so. Yeah, good for me. He seen me at the store. He seen me at the store and said, I got a couple of things you might want to grab. I was like, he was yeah. all excited because that way. I'd love, love to grab them. I'd love to grab them. And I only live right around the corner on Navajo Road, so. Nice. Yep, very close. This is awesome. Blessed. Dolly and everything. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it. I don't usually get that. <laughs> Usually I have to drag them over there. Oh. I know. I get them though. I get them.
Blessed. Blessed. All right. Um, these things, I'm not going to be able to do anything to until I get home. Because I'm going to Jersey. This stuff's gonna get left in my trailer until I get back. Beautifulness. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to New Jersey on tomorrow, so I said, well, good, that'll give me some stuff to do when I get back. Give me some stuff to do when I get back. This is what I do basically for a living now. Scrap. What do you do with them? Well, take the cord off. Mm -hmm. And I take that back panel off and there's a motor in there. And I get a dollar five cents a pound for the cord. And then I cut this end off and I get 15 cents a pound for these. Okay. So as I collect enough of them, mm -hmm. you know, adds up pretty much. Yeah. Throw them in a bucket. And then the motors are 25 cents a, a pound. Okay. And then, then the wash, the dryer, whatever, is uh, eight to nine cents a pound. So, if you separate everything, you can really make some some money. Yeah. <laughs> but but if I just bring it in like it is, I'm not going to make hardly anything because eight cents a pound is not much. Beautiful. Well, I'm done with your part. Okay. Thank you so very much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Tell your husband I appreciate it. I'm glad he called me. I'm glad he called me and we, I mean, uh, see me and we was able to hook it up. Yeah, thank you. All right. Have a blessed day. All right, you too. I'm going to lock this down. Oh, all right, thank you. All right. Beautiful Sunday. Nice. Beautiful. get this one in here and then I think I have a long leaf or something like that. There's another address here in Bowling Spring. That has some goodness. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I got you now. I got you now. You ain't going anywhere. Man, there's some nice pieces right there this morning. Look at them cords that I got. That's about maybe two, two or three dollars worth of just cords on them things, man. Grandpa is blessed. Let's go get some more. I put my burn barrels on Marketplace and uh, a lady called me this morning and said she wanted a burn barrel. I told her, I, she asked me if I delivered. I told her I would. She said she has a small car and doesn't know if she could get it in there. So I told her I'd be glad to come out and help her out. I'm picking up a washer right around the corner from here. So I thought to myself, wow, what a perfect time. I'm literally a half a mile away from where I'm dropping it off. So I went home, put some holes in it for her, grabbed a lid for the top of it so when she's not burning, she can, um, she can keep it covered. See, where'd she say she was at? 300. 300. 85. It's got to be close. The next stop is on your right. Three, 300, two, 300, right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, she would have known. She would not have been able to get that thing in her little car, I don't think. So let's go drop this thing off. Howdy, ma'am. I made it. I'm gonna get this where you want it. Nice, pretty, I cut some holes in it for you. Uh, yeah. It's just terrible. It and this is what I'm talking about for a lid. See, when you're not burning, when you're not burning, put a, keeps the rain water out of it. All right. It's good thinking, right? All right. 
I can't sit too long. I got that truck right in the middle of the road. No, I'm just gonna give you your okay, honey. banana bread. How's that? Oh, I love some banana bread. I can't this wait for a piece of that. Freezer, so it's gonna be okay, well, I'll bring it home. With, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna bring it to New Jersey with me because I'm leaving in the morning. Okay. I'll bring it with me. I'm excited. Good. Well, here's the banana oh bread. Oh my God, a whole piece, a whole big piece. It's a, it's a bread. I thought I was getting a piece of banana no, bread. Oh, you're, you're so, such a blessing. Well, thank you. Such a did blessing. Did you go to church last night? I did. I did. did you it was, see my handsome it husband was on the right side? Was that your husband up there on the right? Yeah. The younger guy. Well, he's not young. No, there's a guy all the way to the right was that had a guitar. And then there's the there's another one to the next. Is he, am I, see, I'm sitting right in the middle of the road. Either that or he wants to see me about scrap metal. <laughs> How much you want to bet? Anyway, so I seen everybody on stage. So yeah, it was great. It was great. Uh, Clay did a good job. Yeah, I did. loved the last song. It was so... Yeah, I bet he wants to, he wants me to pick up some scrap metal. How's it going, boss? Are you picking these things up? Yeah. You want to follow me? I got three. You want them? I want them. Okay. I'll follow you. I'll see if I'm sure I can get three more on there. I just dropped off a burn barrel here. That's great, man. I appreciate it. Well, I'm going to follow you then. I'm going to get out of the road. Thank you. God bless and I'm you. sure I thought saw your husband. He's the older gentleman sitting in the chair. No, the other side. The other side, okay. Yeah, so if you're looking at the stage, yes. he's to the right behind. Got you. I know who you're talking about. I mean, there was- like them three washers, three dryers and washers for that burn barrel. What, you want a burn barrel? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a burn barrel. Okay, Follow. I'm fixing to go home right now. Let's do it. Thank you, okay, honey. I got you. We'll see you, at, we'll see you at church. Okay, honey. I go only on Saturday nights now, I love it. I love it. Yeah, Coffee time. You hear that? So this guy says, hey man, I got, I happen to be sitting on the side of the road. So I got three machines at the house, follow me, you can have them. And then he seen that burn barrel in the front. He said, I tell you what, I'll trade you three machines for that burn barrel. <laughs> I said, I'll give you the burn barrel. Don't worry about it, let's go get the machines. <laughs> so funny, so funny. He said he didn't want me to back into his lot because he thought it was too squishy. But uh, they all the way back there, I, Grandpa can't walk from here to there three times. He said he's got three. I gave him a couple, a couple of my burn barrels just because, and he's gonna tote them out there for me. I can't do it. So, anyways. That's not much of a cart. Uh, I said, that is not much of a cart. So let me pull that back. Oh yeah. Let me grab that. You got the cord or let me grab it? I got it. Got it? Good. I can get it in. I'll meet you back there with the next one. Okay. I can 
bet there's some nice 25 cent a pound motors in here. Oh, this cover's, cover's coming slam off. Uh-oh, the whole thing is coming off. I'm talking about. Things plumb apart. Oh, yeah, look at there. Top came off. There we go. There we go. I don't know if you'll be able to push that shit. Maybe. If your driveway's hard enough. Uh -huh. I said if the yard's hard enough, it'll push. Yeah. Get some skinny little wheels on it. Skinny wheels. Whew. Uh -huh. I don't know if you have a victim number two. This one's not fell apart so bad, so ought to be easier get in there and I can probably go back there and help him with this one all right let's go get the third one third and final well not final I got one more place that I was heading to when this guy seen me and asked me if I wanted three machines so uh yeah this is just picking up because of my trailer advertising I was parked in the middle of the road literally um the guy seen my sticker and seen me now there's another guy that's looking at me real hard like hey maybe uh Maybe I got something for him. This guy's set up, look at that. Okay, it's off. That was awesome. That was awesome, guys. Picked up three machines. Man, I went out this morning thinking I wasn't gonna really get but a couple things. And I'm going back with burn barrels gone. Truck, a trailer full of washers and dryers. Grandpa is blessed. We got one more to go to. No, I'm one mile from here. The one that I was headed to before I stopped here. Like I said, this guy seen me. I was in the road dropping off a burn barrel and he couldn't get by. And I guess he just happened to be sitting there long enough to read my trailer saying scrap metal. I said, let's go. So here we are. All right, we got that. My goodness. Yes, I'm hooking you up. Okay, so we got that. Let's head back to this next one that we didn't go to. Oh yeah, that's not too far away. Awesomeness. Woo-wee. Another beautiful dryer. I have filled, filled my trailer this morning. I mean, one, two, six, seven. These, the only two things that are in here was that. Can't believe it. I surely didn't expect this this morning. Lord, can I make room? Here we go, guys. Grandpa's excited. I'm so blessed. So blessed. I know we got to be able to make room for one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, let's see what we got. Yeah. Stand this thing back up. Plenty of room. Another dryer. This is everything that I picked up this morning, Sunday morning. Wow. I thought I was going out to pick up a couple machines and end up being half the neighborhood. Got, got their new dryers. New washes and dryers. Here we go. It's beautiful. Beautiful whirlpool. Hmm. Boy, I really need to find a place for these. I mean, this one maybe been taken apart a couple times, but yeah, I need to find a 
place for my washers and dryers. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to pull the lid off. Just trying to turn it around here. Move it that way. There we go. The walk of shame. The walk of shame. Please don't fall off when I'm trying to push you up in there. You know how them, you know how them lids are. You know how them lids are. This thing is, is beat up a little bit. But either way, it's got to go in the back of that truck. I don't have my little cart with me. But, okay, play my cards right. I can do it anyway. Scrap on Grandpa, what's next? Tell you what's next. You've been seeing me do a lot of motors lately. That's because I'm taking them out of these machines. Every one of them. Taking the motors out, guys, for my easy money, 25 cents a pound. All right, guys, listen, I'm heading to the airport, heading to New Jersey. I'm going to rent a car, so this is it for Grandpa until I get back. Um, I'll see you when I get there. While I'm in New Jersey, and probably before you even see this video, I'll be making videos of me in Jersey so anyways I'll see you then either way if you missed me I'm so sorry I'll see you on the next one scrapping with grandpa what's next <laughs>